Hi, I'm Adam from CinemaGadgets.com. Um, right now we're going to be talking about a really cool piece of equipment that we have, and that is the camera slider, which of course is what I'm being filmed with right now. Now, if you've seen any of our previous videos, you might have seen the one on Track and Dolly. Track and Dolly is cool when you want to have big sweeping movements, but sometimes you want to only move the camera an inch or two, or you need the convenience of a small package that you can take in somewhere and shoot on a tabletop or, or in, inside somewhere that's very tight. That's why this piece of equipment is so cool. Even if you're just going to move the camera an inch or two, this piece of equipment allows you to unlock the camera from its static position and get almost a 3D look to your project. Now, let's take a look at some of the items that are involved with this piece of equipment. All right, so here's our adjustable camera slider rig. And as you can see, we have a camera here that's set up on this slider. And we have speed rail um, pipes. You can get this in inch and a quarter. And it comes with the speed rail, of course. And you can also get different lengths of the speed rail um, to make it longer or shorter. Uh, then another key piece is these joints here. They, they fix in place with an Allen wrench. So taking them on and off is real fast and easy with this. Um, and then also you get, here's the actual slider. This is aluminum cheese plate with these wheels. These are uh, poly wheels. They'll never wear out because they're not actually uh, skate track wheels that you would, that you would wear on like roller blades or something. They're, they're pure polyurethane uh, all the way through. So they never wear out. So the slider itself has a Mitchell plate on it. Uh, and then this piece right here, you would have to buy separately on the website. Uh, the reason why we do that is because you can get whatever size you want to accommodate the tripod that you're using. Right now, this is a Mitchell to 100 millimeter ball mount that we have on here to, to work with this tripod head. Um, and that's, that's, really, that's really it for what goes to the slider. And as you can see, you can, you can pull the camera right off of here and carry this piece of equipment in. And it is just that simple to setting up a slider. That's kind of what separates this from using track, where you would have to set the track up and, and do all that. You also have a couple other options for, for rigging this thing up. We have these um, stands here. There's other stands you can use besides these, but this is an example. One thing you can do is get a junior nail-on plate. And these junior nail-on plates have these two holes right here, which if you want, you can fasten a bolt between these holes and the holes here, which are the same distance apart. Or what's even faster and more convenient than that is you can uh, take a Cardellini clamp right here and just fasten that the other joint to this joint and your slider's not going anywhere. And these stands are double riser low boy stands. They're one option that you have to set this thing up quickly and then be able to, to raise it and lower it quickly. If you're gonna own this piece of equipment, it has so many other uses than just using it in conjunction with the slider. So this in and of itself is a great investment. And with the slider here, you can see how easy it is to move. Just the slightest motion slides this thing and really enhances your shot. As you can see, this piece of equipment is very easy to set up and very simple to use. It will definitely add a level of production quality to your work. You can check out this piece of equipment at cinemagadgets.com. And to all the people that have been watching our videos and leaving comments, we thank you for your feedback and uh, stay tuned for more videos.